Hi, I'm Polly. I study aerospace engineering at the University of Sheffield and I'm currently on my gear and industry at Boeing, which is the world's largest aerospace company and leading manufacturer of commercial aircraft, space and defence systems. So a bit about my route to university, I studied maths, physics and French at A-level as these were subjects I really enjoyed, um, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to go from there. I thought about doing straight physics or French at university. Engineering was never something that I've been that aware of. Um, coming from an all girls school, um, I wasn't that exposed to STEM opportunities or careers. And it wasn't until looking through university prospectuses um, and websites that I thought about doing engineering. Um, some universities even offered engineering and French, so I knew that my options weren't limited. Uh, after visiting open days, uh, looking at the modules and asking questions, I decided to apply for some engineering courses. So mechanical engineering with or without French and aerospace engineering, because these combined subjects that I really liked whilst having a practical element. So I'm now three years into my aerospace engineering degree and I'm going to share a bit about the structure of the course, the opportunities available and where it's leading me in my career. So engineering is a really engaging degree. There's lots of face-to-face -face teaching which gives your day loads of dynamic. You get to meet so many different people and also cover lots of different topics. Um, also you really get your money's worth. So there's a lot of theory to learn and you're assessed through exams and coursework but what I really like about um, my course is that from second year you get to um, go on different paths depending on what you're interested in and you specialise the more that you advance through your degree. So there's avionics which is the focus on the electrical systems, there's aeromechanics which is the motion of air and its effects of on the bodies in the flow, uh, materials and propulsion, which is engines. So whilst it's a lot of theory, there is some practical work too. Uh, however, this is not like doing an apprenticeship, which is much more hands-on day to day. Um, the practical aspects involve laboratory sessions where you apply what you learn to physical setups um, to see how the theory behaves in the real world. The engineering departments are really well equipped with access to many software, a workshop where you can build things in your own time, um, engineering projects outside of your degree where you can collaborate with other engineers and enter competitions and we even got to fly in a four seat propeller aircraft over Sheffield. Although it's not a hugely practical course, being a degree, you do get great opportunities to learn important practical skills. In third year, there is a team project to design and build an unmanned aerial vehicle, um, which can fly and take pictures remotely, which is a really great way to learn industry design processes and actually manufacture something yourself. Lots of engineering courses across the UK have modules like these, for example, in mechanical engineering, um, I've seen people building cars. So engineering degrees give you the option to do a bachelor's or master's degree. Uh, the bachelor's is a three year course and gives you the B-end qualification. This is the first level of an undergraduate degree that can be awarded. The master's is the next level and you gain an M-end qualification. It is a four year course and gives you the academic requirements you need to become a chartered engineer later on once you've gained the industry experience as well. I'm on the MEng course, however it is possible to apply for the BEng which has lower entry grade requirements and move up onto the MEng at the end of your second year if you achieve 2-1 or higher. So as I mentioned I'm on a year in industry at Boeing. This is a course option at many universities and it means that you work um, as an intern at an engineering company before your final year, whether you do the bachelor's or the master's. It's a great way to, get, uh, to gain industry experience during your degree and apply the knowledge that you've learned. 
I'm about two thirds of the way through my internship and although I've been working from home due to Covid and haven't met any of my colleagues in person, it's still been a really, really valuable experience. Uh, the company I'm working in deals with modifications to private and commercial aircraft. I've had the opportunity to work in two teams, uh, which has involved design and analysis processes. Um, whilst meeting industry and safety requirements. Uh, so both have given me a really good insight into different industry skills and whilst gaining this experience the industry has also helped me decide what I might like to follow uh, in the future once I graduate. So alongside the technical aspects of my internship there have been wider uh, projects and events that I've been able to get involved in, such as STEM events, uh, environmental discussions, diversity and inclusion sessions and further qualifications. Um, so there can be a lot of opportunity and engineering really isn't limited. Um, even if you study it or work as an engineer, it opens up to such a wide community of people. So also you don't have to apply for the degree with the year in industry. You can um, just apply for the normal BNG or MNG and um, if you decide to do a year in industry and um, get accepted for one, you can then move on to the year in industry programme, which is what I did. Um, as I mentioned, year in industries also provide guidance for after graduating. So a great path is a graduate scheme, which uh, is usually a few years in a company where you do rotations in different roles and you can either stay on at that company, move into a different sector or just keep advancing your career in that sector. Uh, you've, if you've done an internship, not only have you gained industry experience which will really appeal to companies when applying for graduate schemes, um, some companies will want uh, to have their interns return as graduate, um, graduate working roles. So, but at the same time, uh, what you learn from your engineering degree or year in industry uh, gives you access to so many different career opportunities once you graduate, as you will have gained a really wide skill set and it's a really exciting path to find yourself on. If someone had told me uh, in year 10, when I was in year 10, that I would be working for one of the most competitive aerospace companies when I was 21, then I would have been very surprised. Um, this engineering, um, this education and career path is a really exciting one and a diverse group of young people is what we need to keep building a more sustainable and fair society by creating innov innovative solutions. So I hope this has helped you learn a bit more about uh, engineering career paths and that you might now consider joining the STEM community. Thank you and best of luck in the future.